hello guys welcome to my channel today we're gonna talk about how to install a Microsoft CA on Active Directory for this one I'm using a window 2016 uh, this one running on VMware workstation uh, I have installed Active Directory already and uh, currently we're gonna install a CA server window 2016 and IP address is 192.168.224.151 uh, CPU 4 core RAM 3 GB and for testing of a client I'm using 192.168.224.148 CPU 2 core memory okay guys uh, before uh, we begin uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, let's start okay guys uh, we are now at our domain server let's continue uh, first we go to uh, server manager then we click on add roles next 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 and here we click uh, active directory certificate services yes next uh, this uh, page we not gonna use any feature so we're gonna click next next and here we're gonna choose uh, certificate authority and certificate authority web environment we're gonna use these two features then we're gonna click next we're gonna click on uh, if this requires yes and then we're gonna install it once our role install finish then we click launch and we're gonna deploy this role next and uh, I'm using administrator, but administrator must, uh, any user we are using must have two ro role. One is a local administrator group, second is enterprise administrator group. Uh, any user we want to uh, use for this one must have two permissions. Okay, we're gonna click next and then we're gonna choose two services uh, certificate authority and uh, certificate authority web environment these two services we're gonna select it click next enterprise ca certificate next root certificate next create private key next we're gonna use uh, sha 256 bit and uh, key length is uh, 2048 and uh, key storage provider next we're gonna click we're not gonna change uh, C, common ca name next validity is 5g we're gonna, not gonna change okay we're gonna, not gonna change anything uh, like uh, certificate validity is 5g we're gonna click next next and uh, configure we're gonna wait for this one finish once install finish then we're gonna close this window and we're gonna open our explorer here we're gonna type http double column local host c r t s r v gonna enter Once our certificate uh, server open, and uh, then we're gonna create a request certificate. Advance, submit certificate request using a uh, base CC4 encoder. Okay. Now we need to have a key. How to generate key? I can show you on web server, but uh, it's depend on if you're using mail server, you have to generate from mail server. We're gonna go to uh, our uh, server manager ISS server we're gonna click on uh, internet information server and uh, based on that one we're gonna go to uh, main server management and uh, you see there is certificate we're gonna click on certificates and then we're gonna create a uh, create certificate request
and it will open a new window once the new window is open then we have to choose common name common name normally is a domain name vantage.local organization vantage Uh, organization it could be IT, city name, state name, and country. Once we this one, then we have to choose a uh, 2048 bit and RSA scheme next, and then we have to choose file. Normally, file uh, where we can keep normally, like uh, for example, uh, I say SSL. server and we save there once we save this information already and uh, then we have to go to our uh, Excel setting and then we copy this code we have to copy this one new code this is website request uh, we have to copy this one copy and we're gonna put on our browser and this one's certificate gonna be server based certificate so are uh, we gonna do this one and submit once we submit then we have to download, uh, uh, download base 64 in code and then we're gonna save as uh, this one SSL web server and uh, then we save this one then we're gonna go to uh, our web server and complete certificate request we're gonna choose file from desktop and friendly name friendly name is the name of when we choose so friendly name is that uh, then search root.local and this certificate is gonna be the hosting certificate so we click ok and uh, let's test our website now uh, sorry one more things we have to assign assign to site so we're gonna click on uh, our uh, site bonding there's two way to to audit bonding so we're gonna go to SSL Currently, is no certificate assigned, so we're gonna assign him a uh, new certificate. Okay, and uh, let's test now. HTTPS. Touch. Dot root. Dot local. It's working fine if we see certificate everything is look good valid for two years and uh, we can see path now let's test on client if it's working or not working okay we are at uh, our uh, window client and uh, let's do testing how it's going open internet explorer and uh, this client is already a join id so i no need to do anything too much let's see which to be as you see ssl certificate is working fine even from here if, if we click here we can install certificate also but even not install it's not show any error and uh, certificate path everything is look normal thank you so much guys for watching please subscribe to my channel if you have any question please put in comment i will reply you as soon possible thank you